chloride, sulfates, and similar soluble salts are known to accelerate the rate of steel corrosion and break down the protective coating through the process called osmotic blistering. Sources of these contaminants, which are usually invisible to the naked eyes, include chemical splash, acid rain, marine spray, and spillage. All attempts to get rid of these contaminants from the steel surface where they have been deposited through abrasive blast cleaning, even to white metal, have been futile. A steel surface is expected to contain zero salts after the surface cleaning and before the application of the coating. However, this is impossible, practically, due to the interference of external factors. Thus, a coating specification indicates a practical salt level, and the coating inspector is expected to measure the same before coating application. For the measurement, the coating inspector can use either a Bressel salt kit, chloride salt detection kit, or a salt contamination meter. In this video, you will learn how to measure the salt level with the aid of a salt contamination meter in line with the descriptions of the test method contained in SSPC G15. According to the specifications of the test method, a special filter paper soaked with distilled water absorbs the soluble salts on a surface. The SCM is then used to determine the conductivity of the wet paper. There are two push buttons on the SCM, one in red and the other in green. There is also a lid, electrode, and a display screen that shows the salt level in microgram per square centimeter. Before using the SCM, it is highly advisable that you put in place some precautionary measures as well as some preparations. Some of these include making sure the electrode is clean, ensuring that the sampling water's purity corresponds to the recommendations of the instrument manufacturer or that of BS 3978 or ISO 3696 requirements. Confirm that the size and type of the sample paper correspond to what the instrument manufacturer specifies. Materials needed for taking a sample include a clean disposable glove, a standard 110 mm diameter sample paper, sampling water of high purity, and a syringe of 2 ml capacity. For sampling, wear the clean disposable gloves on both hands. Fill the syringe with exactly 1.6 ml of sampling water. Remove the sample paper from the pack using the tweezer and hold it. Proceed by ejecting 1.6 milliliter of water onto the surface of the paper. Ensure that the paper retains as much water as possible. Place the wet paper on the area you want to sample and press it firmly. During this process, ensure that you take out maximum entrapped air from under the paper. You can now start the two minutes timer. To do this, switch the SCM on by pressing the red push button once. Upon switching on the SCM, the SCM screen will display SCM Ready, indicating that the device is ready for use. Press the red push button again. This will start the two minute timer and the screen will display Timer Started. At the end of the set two minutes, the device will notify you with a continuous beep and a display on the screen that reads Sample Ready. Open the lid of the SCM and place the paper over the electrodes while making sure that the outer ring of the electrode covers the paper entirely. Close the lid now and within 5 seconds press the green push button. This will display the salt level as a reading on the SCM screen. This is the salt level of the examined surface as derived from the sample paper. Record the reading. To remove the sample paper, lift the lid, take it out, and throw it away safely or keep the paper in a resealable bag for further analysis. Did you like this video? Give it a like! And for new video notices or updates, subscribe to the IOGS International YouTube channel. Likewise, you can also log on to our website, www.iox.org, to enroll a training offered by the Institute for Oil and Gas Sector, IOGS.